Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss the second part of camera. In this uh, second part, we are going to have a clear cut discussion on what are the options which are available for the purpose of drawing of the chemical structures and the chemical equations. Let's see one by one. The first bar is file. The file, if you click on the file, we have some options in this. Right. Among all the options, we need to have a focus on one or two options. The first one is what? Save as. In generally, if you want to save the camera file, what happens? That is going to be saved in the form of .cdxml. If you take a Word document, that can be saved in the form of .doc or not. So similarly, if you want to save the camera document, it will be saved in the form of .cdxml. ML. Simply we need to use the save as. Here we can give the file name, whatever the file you want, name you want to give, you can give. And uh, that is your option where you want to save the particular file. I want to save this file on the desktop directly training. So the file is saved. Okay. See, if you see this particular uh, area, nothing is there. So how can we draw the structures? So in order to draw the structures, the first and very important option is view in which you need to activate show main toolbar. See, by clicking that main toolbar here, we are getting some of the items or not. All these items are very much useful for the drawing of the chemical structures and chemical equations. Okay. So this is the second one. The third one, go to the file. The first one is new document. If you want to open the new document, just you can click on the new document. Otherwise, you have some document. Already you have some structures uh, which have already drawn in one camera file. If you want to open that camera file, you can use this open option. See, all these options are very much similar to the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office and etc. Okay, so you need not to bother about uh, how can you learn the camera. The learning of camera is very, very, very easy. You should have the fundamental knowledge of computer and word. Okay, the next one is close. If you click this option, the file is going to be closed. Right, again, page setup, printer. These are all the common options. Among all the options, you need to concentrate on one particular option. That is this one. Apply document settings from and ACS document 1996. This option is very, very, very important. So whenever you draw the chemical structure, that should be in the standard format. So in most of the cases, all of us are following the American Chemical Society document 1996. That's why the first thing which you need to do is your file must be saved in the form of ACS document 1996. Okay, suppose if you see, if I want to draw benzene, see the structure of the benzene, it is like this or not, but the structure of benzene is not the standard format, it is not in standard form. So that's why we need to emphasize that whatever the structure you draw by using the chem draw, all the structure should be in the form of standard format. For that purpose, what we are doing simply, we need to, simply we need to select the structure, any one structure you have. If you do not have the structure, no issue. Go to the file, apply document settings from, then click ACS document. So observe the situation. Previously, you have the structure. If I click the ACS document, how the structure is going to be? It is asking modify existing or not. Yes, modify existing. See what happens. The size of the structure has been reduced or not. Now it is in the standard format. So each and everyone should remember whenever you draw the any new structure or any new chemical equation, your file must be going to be saved in the name of Apply document settings from and ACS document 1996. This is the first thing you need to do. Okay, then 
go to the next one so in the file menu we are not uh, having uh, what we call it as uh, very new things all are the very uh, similar things like as uh, what okay now let's see some more options here if you take edit cut copy we all know that cut means removal copy and you can paste also okay if you want to insert some of the files or some of the objects in this particular area you can use these two okay so copy as here some important uh, features are there sometimes what happens when you work the when you have uh, some of the information which related to the chemical structures if you want to put the data in some any other software all the softwares will not follow the same extension file right for that purpose what we are doing the structure may be converted into smiles sll the, these are the formats which are available in these formats we are going to take the information of the chemical structure right so depending upon the usage you can use the data suppose if i want to take the benzene data how can i take see this if it is copy in the form of smile it is copied if you want to put that as smile uh, what so just i am copy so what you have observed there we have the structure right six membered cyclic ring with three alternative double bonds but here what we are observing the structure data in the form of smiles okay similarly whatever the structure you have that, that can be directly converted into the smiles form so whenever you take this data in the form of this one uh, smiles if you place this one you will get the benzene structure it is like a language we are having different languages na no? right every language uses some coding so here some coding is there that is in the form of this smiles okay that is the thing next one insert object insert file these are all the common things so paste select all repeat paste my all are the common things now come to the view now see the first one so cross air if you click this one observe what happens what is happening we are getting the cross lines in most of the cases we do not use this one just for the knowing purpose you need to have so remove this next one show rulers see here we are having the rulers or not see this one word na like word if you want rulers you can activate see this you are getting or not okay so this is also not necessary then we know that so main toolbar uh, these are the some toolbars which are uh, helpful okay by the time we will having the clear cut discussion okay next object in the object also we are having some of the options similarly structure text curve so whatever the item which we are having in the text menu structure menu object menu view menu whatever it may be the case while doing the things in this particular page we can use each and every option okay so first let's try to understand how to draw the chemical structures by using the camera let's see take the single bond click on it by using the mouse see we are getting single bond or not suppose you if i want to write propane so propane means how many carbons are there three carbons are not here how many carbons two carbons put one more bond so this is propane if you want to get cyclohexane here we have cyclohexane directly simply placed if you need 
cyclopropane 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 whatever the molecule if you want we can easily draw by using the camera see here already some of the moieties are available by using these moieties we can uh, directly develop the things so conformational analysis cyclohexane chair conformation is available right so if you want to study the carbohydrate chemistry there we are having the chair conformations or not so we can use these kind of things okay suppose if i want to draw the toluene molecule so we need to take benzene so benzene is there so benzene containing ch3 group so ch3 is connected to single bond or not simply put the single bond single bond so it, this is also representation suppose if you want to write ch3 in generally in order to write the text what kind of options we will use in word this one or not a a indicates text tool here see by clicking or by putting the mouse here directly it is going to activate text tool so simply click and come here and place see if you place the mouse here it is going to activate the a symbol is coming here or not simply use the left click right c h 3 c h 3 okay now see toluene molecule is there suppose if you want to write the cinnamic acid how can we write so we need to take benzene we need a single bond so single bond right single bond c h double bond c h c o o h so by using this one you can have different kinds of the single bonds how many you want you can do that so if you do not want the bond simply you need to delete for the delete option we have eraser simply click the eraser and remove remove whatever the bond you do not need simply put the eraser so now i want to write cinnamic acid right so for the writing of cinnamic acid i need one more bond right next last one is COOH COOH so for the cinnamic acid in between these two carbon we are going to have a double bond or not simply click here you will get the double bond if you see the structure it is not in proper format right so in order to get the proper format what should you do okay so this is the molecule if you want to select the molecule we have two options here see this one is lasso second one is structure perspective suppose if you take the lasso what happens suppose you have a molecule in the molecule you want to select some particular portion you can do that by using the lasso okay if you want to select half of the molecule you can select by using the lasso but if you take this one structure perspective that can select the complete structure see this complete structure now i want to convert this structure into the proper form so for that purpose what should we do so we want to do the proper format for that purpose go to the option of structure structure menu in the structure menu simply do clean up structure simply click clean up structure see what happens so properly arranged or not clean up structure again if you want to do clean up you can do it right so always you are going to get a proper structure now it is in the transform if you need it in the cis form you can also convert into the cis form so how you can convert for that purpose one of the group must be rotatable or not so for that what i am doing i am going to take lasso one part of the portion of the molecule i want to select see simply i want to select cooh i have selected cooh and putting like this see now it is becoming cis or not so simply click the perspective structure and clean up structure see this is the main use of 
clean up the structure. It is always necessary. Why? Because if you see the journals, in the journals, whatever the structure we are seeing, that is in the standard format only. So always we need to use the standard format. So simply control C select, copy and simply paste means what control V? Paste it. See the molecule is here. How beautifully it is arranged. So in this way we can draw the molecules. Right? Suppose I need some color to this particular moiety. What should I do? Simply I need to select this one. Go to the colors. Whatever the color you want, you can give that color. See, now it is colored or not. Sometimes what happens in some equations, we have different moieties. No? If you want to highlight some portion of the moiety, you can highlight by using the different color. Suppose see that if I want to highlight COOH group. So I have selected COOH and I have used the red color. Now see, this one is highlighted or not. So, in this way, simply we can do the changes accordingly, right? You need not to have any kind of the chemistry knowledge for drawing the structures or chemical equations. Simply what should you do? Fundamental knowledge of word or paint. If you have the fundamental knowledge, you can do the things, right? So, all the options are very easy, okay? Suppose, if you want to check the structure, I have drawn, I want to know that whether the structure is correct or not. So, in order to check that one, what should you do? Simply by using the structure perspective, select the molecule, go to the structure and see the option. Check structure. Click on it. What is appeared here? No errors found. It means whatever the structure I have drawn that is perfectly all right. Okay. So in this way, we can draw the simple, simple structures. Right. Suppose if you want to write some derivative, aniline derivative. Simply aniline means benzene is connected to NH2. That is NH2. This is aniline. Okay. So, in this way, we can easily draw the structure. Any kind of molecule you can draw by using your mind. Okay. See, I am going to have the molecule like this. This is one molecule, right? To this molecule, I have added some moiety like this Cl. Okay. This is the molecule I have drawn. If you see this particular carbon, is it asymmetric center? Yes. Why? Because it is connected to four different groups. If you want to represent the stereochemistry of the molecule, how can you represent? So we can easily represent the stereochemistry by using see these options. Simply put the cursor on each and every kind of option, automatically it will give the complete details. First one is single bond. Already you know that this one lasso means in order to select some portion or whole of the molecule, you can use this one. Structure perspective also same. Single bond, we know that every kind of organic molecule is initially formed with the carbon, 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 heteroatom single bonds. So, in order to draw the single bonds, we need to use solid single bond. So, sometimes what happens, we may have the double bonds or we may have the triple bonds. In order to have the double or triple bonds, what should you do? You need to use this multiple bond. See this? If you click the corner position like this, what we are observing? We are having different kinds of the bonds or not? Suppose if I want to take the triple bond like this. Simply select here. Wherever you need to place. Suppose I want to place here. See. If you take the cursor here. The bond is highlighting or not? Simply place the triple bond. So wherever you need the triple bond or double bond. You can directly place it. By using what is the option? Multiple bonds. Right. Already we know that. 
the dashed bond hashed bond and hashed wedged bond these three represents what the atom or the group of atoms are below the plane the representation of below the plane according to the stereochemistry is like this only so you can use any one of these three for above the plane you can use bold bond wedged bond and hollow wedged bond you can use these three suppose if i want to highlight this particular carbon assume that here chlorine is above the plane here one more bond is there or not that bond is present in the form of hydrogen or not in generally what happens in the chemical structures we will not represent the hydrogens right that indirectly or directly indicates the hydrogen is attached suppose if i want to highlight the hydrogen here okay assume that One moment. Control C and Control V. So here I have the molecule. I want to represent the hydrogen atom in both the cases. One is above the plane, another one is below the plane. How can I represent? So in order to represent that one, I am going to use these bonds. Assume that in the first case, I want to represent hydrogen is below the plane. So below the plane, we can use any one of these three. Na? Suppose I am using this one. That is below the plane. I want to highlight chlorine is above the plane. So I am going to use this one that is like this. Above the plane and below the plane. Here, chlorine is below the plane. So I want to use this one. Hydrogen is above the plane. I want to use this one. But if you observe the situation, whether the bond angle is perfectly adjusted or not. For that purpose, what we are doing? Simply we need to select the molecule, go to the structure and clean up the structure. See, clean up the structure. Now what happens? All the atoms and groups are properly arranged in the molecule or not. That is the beauty of the option which is available in the structure menu. Structure and cleanup. Simply draw any kind of structure and select the molecule. Go to the structure option. First one is check structure. Second one is cleanup structure. Use these two initially. Why? Because during the initial training program, na, you people do not have much of knowledge. That's why in the initial days, you can use simply these two options. Simply draw the structure, go to check structure and clean up structure. Okay. So in this way, we can represent the stereochemistry of the molecules also by using this one. Sometimes what happens, we want to represent the atom, either it is above or below the plane. We don't know. That is commonly called as what? Wavy representation or not. So how can we have the wavy representation of the atom? Assume that the stereochemistry of the molecule is going to be influenced by the chlorine. For example, okay. Simply select the structure and clean up the structure. So I want to give the information that the chlorine may be either above the plane or below the plane. For that purpose, what I am doing, see here, wavy bond. The wavy bond we need to use. Simply do that, wavy bond. So, this indicates the chlorine may be either above the plane or either below the plane. So, in this way, the stereochemical representation of the molecules can be done. Okay. If you want to draw the table, by using this one, you can draw the table. Okay, see, you can draw the table. This is the option we have. So directly we have the data. Next, 
here is the option very very important chain tool if you take fatty acids fatty acids are what long chain carboxylic acids right so in case of the fatty acids we are going to observe the carbon chain of c16 c17 c18 c19 like that now if you have that much of length of the carbon chain so how can we write if you want to write by using the single bond we can take a lot of time you are going to take a lot of time by using this one see every time we need to make a single bond by using the single bond we are going to get it is going to take a lot of time or not so in order to save the time here we have a option see this click this one simply draw how many carbon how many length carbon chain you need that can be easily drawn see so at the last you are having the number or not how many carbons you need based on the number of carbons you can draw simply very simply okay this is one option we have another option here that is like this see beautifully one molecule is designed or not right these kind of molecules we can observe the and the concept called as crown ethers crown ethers are having different kinds of these type of cyclic rings or not if you want to get these kind of cyclic rings you can use the second option annulenes also if you want to draw the annulenes you can use these kind of options so very simple or not see how beautifully we are drawing the molecule in case of the natural products they are having lengthy carbon chains or not sinatra to draw in this way if you want to give the color simply select go to the color and identify so you can give different colors based on the different structures okay whatever the structure you are having so in the cyclic uh, cyclic ring if you want to give some double bond or triple bond you can give like this if you want to put some substitution you can uh, also have the substitution if you want to have the triple bond you can give the triple bond triple bond so in this way you can draw the larger molecules by using this option see how much useful okay suppose if you see the colors option initially in order to highlight the color just you need to select the molecule whatever the molecule you are having just select it and go to the color so defaultly we are having only 6 to 7 colors right if you need some more colors what should you do go to others option see here we are having different kinds of other colors are not so by using different other colors and different scheme combinations so all these are similar to word or not so you need not to worry about uh, the chemdra chemdra is very 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 simple software but the output is very much beautiful okay most of the journals are following the standards of acs only that's why simply initially save the document uh, by using the acs 1996 document okay let her do the things so whatever the molecules or compounds you have drawn simply select and paste in your word file wherever you need so simply you can do that copy and paste okay see in this way you can draw the different structures okay suppose sometimes what happens i want to give some beautification to the molecules right now see i want to put these two molecule in some boxes for that purpose we have an option called as drawing elements see this here we are having different options or not so select any one just put like this see here i am getting the boxes or not right so whatever the type you need if you need the circle you can take the circle right if you need the elliptical one you can take the elliptical one whatever the shape you need you can have all kind of details here if you want to highlight like this you can highlight in this way see how many options are available here 
okay so all these options we can use so by using your brain you can create different kinds of the pictures by using the options which are available in the camera okay so this is some information next one take very important one here yeah, these are not that much important ah, here arrows are very much important whenever you draw the chemical equation we need arrows or not so in order to put the arrow simply we need to use these arrows okay if you want to have the orbitals and the shapes so these are the orbitals we are having right you can change the color of the lobe also if you want to change it in order to change the color what should we do simply we need to select select the portion and change the color change the color right so in this way we can easily draw the chemical structures by using the camera okay so in the next portion we will discuss some other features of camera okay thank you